So from the very beginning, you may not know how to tell quality cork. How I got started in cork fabric actually was a very not so good experience, to be honest. I went to a local quilt shop and happened upon cork fabric that they had in the shop. Bought a little piece to see what it was about. And the first time I went to sew with it, it actually broke and I was kind of surprised. So I didn't try it again for a very long time. I saw a post on Instagram um, from a local girl that featuring cork fabric and it didn't look anything like what I had bought. I ordered some, which happened to be from Fabric Funhouse and got it hand delivered by the owner. That's how I got involved with the company. But when I sewed with it, it was night and day comparison. And I found over the years that cork fabric actually kind of runs the gamut that way, where you can get very, very high quality fabric and you can get kind of low grade, not so great cork fabric that you may love to practice on. There are uses for those. So let me tell you how to kind of tell those apart, I guess. How do I say this? Lower end cork fabric feels dry. Um, there is no water-based sealant on top of cork fabric that is lower end, which can cause it to break and crack over time. Part of the reason you may not want to use it in a project that's special to you. You can get a higher end thinner cork, um, and they have their specific uses, but personally I wouldn't use it for the outside of a bag because a lot of wear and tear is gonna happen there. There are uses for thinner, higher grade cork fabric in that it has a little bit more drape than say ours will. Um, it will make it a little less durable over time, but they definitely have their purpose. There is a definitive way though on how to tell if it's a decent cork fabric or not. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you feel the cork and it feels kind of dry and brittle, that may be because they have not added any water-based sealant like ours has. Also, if you have a pliable piece of cork fabric, but you, you can stretch it, that's definitely something you might want to avoid um, going forward because it could very well lead to a problem down the road. Um, if you pull a little bit on the side and it stretches, it's it's probably not going to last you as long as something that doesn't. Um, cork fabric does have a, a little bit of stretch, but not that much. The other way you can tell is the feeling on the backing. If it feels like something soft and pliable, um, a, a cotton poly or, or something like that, um, it's probably on the higher end of things. If it feels like a piece of ribbon or nylon, um, most likely it's going to be a very thin, not so high grade. It's very hard to explain. Right here was actually our first foray into cork fabric. Um, Talia had ordered pretty much the first cork fabric that appeared on the US market and this bag was made from that. And as you can see over time, it has completely worn off the color, it has cracked, it has worn. And cork fabric will wear over time, especially on tight corners or points or anything like that. But this was kind of on the crazy end of the spectrum as far as wear was concerned. So once we found out that that happened and it kind of happened very quickly after the bag was made, we decided not to pursue carrying that specific cork. 